How are you doing, everybody? Um, how are you doing, Ramiz Modi Talim? Well, I'm the baby of the chat, the chat there, pretty much. <laughs> uh, but being in the chapter has really, really helped me grow as a person. I was very shy at first. Yeah. Now, dog that. <laughs> well, pretty much, um, a little about me. Well, I am a full-time student. I plan to transfer next fall to Cal State Fullerton. I uh, was an associate's degree. Um, I, I just think my college just wants more money. It gets harder and harder. <laughs> uh, but I'll get through it. Um, pretty much, um, people, I like to travel, but I mostly like to drive places. I don't know why. I just like driving. It's a different view because you take, you get lost, but you, you find something nice on the way there. <clears throat> and pretty much, um, pretty much, uh, just, um, uh, I devote a lot of time to my family's business because it's something I'm in, you know, inherit from them. Um, <laughs> well, uh, so I am planning to go to, to the Korea, Caribbeans this winter, so it'll be fun. Uh, pretty much, um, well, how the business has changed has really changed a lot over the years because our schedule was we're 13 days straight and take one day out. Now it turned into 12, to 12 days and take every other weekend off, which a lot of my crew and I personally enjoy a lot because I, I used to work every Saturday. Now I can go shooting, I can go out, pretty much. Um, well, pretty much uh, the business then we are, uh, the number one thing you said, what's the best referral for us? Well, any referral is best. We'll, we're willing to work with a person and they have a budget. We'll do whatever we can for the budget they have. Because I had clients call us, oh, I want to get my trailer waxed, but I only have this much to spend. Okay, well, we do get free quotes. We will go out, look at your car, trailer, boats. Or for you to give you a call, say, okay, well, for your budget, we could do this. And majority of the time, the people are, are from please what, what we do for what we charge them. But when it comes to cars, the number one, <clears throat> our, the majority of our customers, they're daily drivers. So pretty much, I do a lot of daily drivers. That so it doesn't mean you have to just refer me like show cars or any. I do any type of car. I've done a car that doesn't even run, but they want to clean. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I even done cars where they're in the process of finishing it up and they just need like they're with the start in the car. They're just I'm the one who finishes up the car and make it uh, special. Uh, I've done cars that we're there prepared to take it to car shows. So we know everything about it. And we do a lot of return leases. So we you know, detail cars when people are ready to return their cars when they're at lease. That's our number one thing uh, that people get for full details. Because uh, the majority of the time, they just drive them however, they end up trashing it, and they're like, I'm gonna get taxed so much, and but I pretty much just one person. This by the beach, she'll go to the beach often. The park anywhere they had stretches pretty much in every single door. They even had stretches on the hood. I believe from a cat. <laughs> but yeah, that's the number one thing. Cats, possums, they love to go in your cars. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and during winter you might wanna. Like, wait a little bit before taking off. Cassie can attempt to go into your engine. Uh, we have, we, I actually personally had that where I turned on my car and I hear a uh, cat just run out of the bottom. I'm like, at least I didn't take off right away. <laughs> right, so, pretty much, um, we do a lot of commercial, residential. Just, uh, we are licensed and insured. Pretty much, we are licensed for every city we work in. So pretty much, Fountain Valley, Hunting Beach, pretty much every city in Orange County, we are, we are licensed to work in. So 
we that's why we were we do a lot of commercial areas too. And one of the things like how you work in commercial areas, the number one thing that the city requires for you is to detain the water. So if we do a lot of cars, well, we could. There's two options really. We have this uh, floor mat that looks like a, it's like a mini jumper, but it's only for the floor. And uh, we cover the sides, and it detains the water. We drive up the car up to the floor mat. We wash it there, and we, but the water stays within the floor mat. Another option that we do a lot is when the water flows down those. I say this, those uh, pathways that they make for them, for the water to flow. We carry sandbags to block the water at a certain stand, so we could do 10 cars in a row, but at the end of the 10 cars, there'll be a sandbag to detain the water. So just the city doesn't want the water to go down the drain. So what we do with the water, we're allowed to dispose of it anywhere, pretty much anywhere, just <coughs> dirt, with the plants, trees. They just don't want it to go down the drain. That's about it. But the majority of the time, they don't really give us a hassle. I have some companies that work for that are really, uh, how to say it's really peaky where the water goes. So have you guys seen the company here on New Hope by Costco called Kingston? I do their cars. And they're, the new, they're like one of the peakiest clients I have because they don't want any water to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the whole majority of the water I had to detain. And they're so peaky, I can't even, they don't even, don't even allow me to throw away the water on their grass. So I had to take it with me, throw away some grass. Somebody else's grass. A lot of people say, but all, don't all the chemicals aren't going to harm the grass. <laughs> The majority of the chemicals are air friendly. They are, they, they, so we buy them retail, so they are certified. They, they won't harm any grass, any grass, and pretty much, just, uh, I'm just helping you water your, your yard. <laughs> but pretty much, um, well, you guys, you guys follow us on Facebook. We do a lot of extraordinary things. I've done, like did a stat, a fiberglass statue. We've done uh, collectibles, cars, and I uh, did believe we did one of those Disneyland, just like from the Ferris wheel. Where you see, we did one of those. It was, that was fun. It was all, it was all tall and it came back like to life. And you guys know we expand our business to pressure washing. Pretty much on how. My dad, he originally he had worked he has worked in pressure washing before, so it's not it's not it's not something new to him. He's in the process of teaching me how to do it. But uh, we could do anywhere from pool decks, driveways, houses, anything that has concrete, pretty much commercial, residential, because a pressure washer is hot water. It heats up to 250 degrees. So pretty much we could do uh, if it's super. Staying with, yeah, we could pretty much, it will take us longer, but we could able to do it. My dad, he did a commercial uh, kitchen. I guess they were remodeling and they, they did the whole kitchen. And, but the client loved it, it came out great. So we could do that. You guys have any questions about? Yeah, so the, the pressure washing, you can do things like uh, driveways or asphalt, like in front of your house if there's oil stains. Yeah. And do you use any sort of like detergent with it to help break up the oil or? Uh, that will, uh, we'll have to see how how, how, how stained it is, but majority of the time since it gets super hot, sometimes oh. it just comes out, it just leaves like a little circle where it used to be. Okay. But most of the time, it's not noticeable. And, um, uh, that's casual. Okay, that, that's, that's great. Thanks. Uh, yes? Um, when you do a, a full detail, <clears throat> if you have, like, scratches on the inside, like on your dashboard, do those buff out most of the time as long as they're not too deep? Scratches on the dashboard? Yeah, because I'm curious. Yeah, that's on the <laughs> 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 no, it wasn't a cat, but there's a couple scratches yeah, on the... 
on the on the driver's side. You know, where, you know sometimes people put their feet up, and you know you get a little scratch. Oh, 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 what is that? I was carrying wood, so I don't know where I scratched from, but because it will buff out. Well, the reason why she <laughs> The majority of the inside is either leather or plastic, so yeah. I can't really do much about that. But um, when it's all leather, what we done in the past, we apply leather conditioner, which softens up the leather again, and it, it helps to like release those cracks and we'll even hide it where you can't notice it no more. I could show it to you for really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, pretty much when the full detail, we really mean a full detail. Well, shampoo the whole carpet, the whole seats. Well, a lot of people that ask us, hey, what can you do with the headliner? The headliner, there isn't much you can do, honestly. Because that thing is just glued on, and you get it two way, it's going to end up falling down. So a lot of people are like what what we could do is just get a damp towel, just go around the headliner, and that's it. Cause I've seen people, you no, know, I see you know, another person who just sprayed that. And I'm like, yeah, but you know this thing is only glued on. You get the glue wet enough, it's gonna start coming off, and I don't I don't pay to replace it. I'm like I'm just protecting myself. This is. I've seen the people where they they soak the whole top and a month later the whole end, uh, headliner's coming off. So I'm like, <laughs> that's uh, something I don't recommend doing. Just the majority of times, just get a very damp towel, just go over the headliner, and that's all you can do, honestly. The inside? On the inside. The headliner. Cool pressure washing your headliner. Yes. Do you have any plans of offering car wash in here? Oh, it's the the way my dad has arranged the schedule. He'll have to move a lot of people around, and the majority of clients they already got used to it, and they don't, our clients don't like to be moved around a lot. Uh, Tell them where they can come on Thursday. Some don't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's uh, something I had discussed with my dad. It's like that's the issue. We have clients that they're already used to a certain time every week and their weekly basis, so. It's very difficult to change them around. That's um, the only issue. It's, but it's his. Do they even allow it? Uh, I don't know. But I did it. I did it. Well, a couple a couple times when we were temporarily here, and they never told us anything. But all the businesses are closed by the time. When, even when we leave, they're still closed. So I think the. So I think the only problem we might have right now is the construction next door. Yeah, it's a bad. The city's around a lot. Dust, you know, That's yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. But any other questions, concerns, mm -hmm. complaints? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. Well, do you have any questions ever about your car or worry about anything? Oh, I haven't forgot to mention this. The best way how to tell if a stretch will buff out or not is with your fingernail. If you go slightly over with your finger, if your finger nail goes into a stretch, it's too deep. <laughs> Best way to tell. If it's slight, it's, you can't feel it, and most of the time it will come out with a slight buff. But that's a lot of questions. Can you remove all the stretches? I'm like, it depends how deep they are. Like, best test is with your finger nail, just go slightly over the pain, and your nail goes in, it's too deep most of the time. Especially when you get keyed. I've seen a lot of people get keyed. Those never come out. The only way is touch up paint. But other than that, they won't buff out. And a lot of the thing we get called for is headlights. Headlights, once, honestly, once they go bad, they tend to go bad all the time. You can just clean them up, just uh, avoid. The thing that makes them go bad is the sun. From all the weather, all the water, especially <coughs> it's humid in the morning. Those, uh, well, when the sun hits it, that's what pretty much it is. It's oxidation on the headlights. But once it tends, once they go bad, they tend to go bad again. Just clean them up and do it every couple months. Just uh, avoid having the sun hitting too long. That's about it. All right, thank you.